Hi, we're at one of our training facilities today and we're talking about shotgun specialty ammunition. A viewer sent me a couple of different types and asked me to test them, so here we are. Specialty ammunition quite often comes in a package of three rounds, and quite often three rounds of this has a higher price tag than 25 rounds of more conventional shotgun ammo. And it comes in a wide variety. There's flechettes, this stuff called ripper ammunition is a combination of number 12 birdshot and thumbtacks. But what I really want to concentrate on today is this stuff called Slinger Cowboy's Dream ammunition. Yes, it actually reads Cowboy's Dream on the package. Let me show you a close-up of what this stuff looks like. We've got one of these cut open and what's in there is two, for lack of a better term, buckshot projectiles connected by this three and a half inch braided cable. Now although these two projectiles sit on top of each other in the shot shell, you can see that they're not 12 gauge and they're not spherical. So it would appear the intent is to hit the intended target with the two pellets separated by enough that this cable between them will cut a swath of destruction through the intended target. Well my three questions are, one, will this stuff shoot accurately? Two, considering that the two pellets are pretty much on top of each other when they leave the muzzle, at what distance and to what degree will those pellets separate, allowing that cable to do what it's supposed to do? And three, is this stuff going to have the intended effect on the intended target. Well, let's shoot a couple of different targets and see what we can learn. I've got two VisiShot targets and I'll shoot from 25 yards with my Mossberg Model 500 and I'll shoot the top target with conventional Winchester one ounce rifled slugs and the bottom target with our Slinger ammunition and let's see how they compare for accuracy. Now there may have been a little confusion when I fired my first shot, the slug hit the upper target and the wad hit the lower target. But here's my four shot group with slugs and with the slinger ammunition, only two hit the paper. So I'll put up a new target and we'll cut the distance in half and I'll shoot from 12 yards and let's see how we do. Well at 12 yards that was better but we still had one shot miss the target. Let's try something else. This is two shots fired from 25 yards with my Mossberg Model 500 with its 20 inch improved cylinder bore barrel. The ammunition was Federal 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch double lot buck 12 pellets. And you can see there's a lot of hits on here. When shooting at distances like 25 yards, slugs can be effective because they shoot accurately. Buckshot can be effective because there's a lot of pellets and that large pattern can really enhance your hit probability, putting a lot of effective hits on paper. When shooting something like the Slinger ammunition that only has two projectiles connected by a cable, I would expect that to be effective in terms of hitting the target that it's going to have to produce accuracy similar to a slug, which it most certainly didn't. Two of those shots didn't even hit the cardboard. So in terms of actually hitting your target, I'd consider that the Slinger ammunition is less effective than slugs or buckshot. Now this is the meat target with its leather jacket skin, followed by boneless chicken thigh thoracic muscle, pork was really expensive today, pork ribs, a watermelon to simulate lung tissue, more pork ribs on the back, four layers of t-shirt on the front and four layers on the back, and the whole thing followed by the new and improved high-tech fleece bullet stop. And I'll go back nine yards and I'll shoot this with the Slinger ammunition. Let's see what kind of effect we get. So how did we do? I fired three rounds and only two actually hit the meat target. Of the two that hit it, one, the double impact went through the ribs, broke some ribs. The other one, the cable broke. So you only had one impact here, breaking a rib, and that projectile went through and was stopped by the ribs on the back of the target. The other projectile was lodged in the target. 
As far as damage to our watermelon lung tissue, that was pretty good, I'd say moderate. Altogether, considering the type of projectiles that hit and the size of them and the number of projectiles, the damage was a little less than I expected. Now let me show you the projectiles that actually hit the target. And here's one where the cable didn't stretch out very much at all, and here's the other one where the cable broke. Now for comparison, I'll shoot the Federal 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, double lot buck 12 pellet, and again I'll shoot from 9 yards. And virtually all of the double lot buck projectiles were stopped by the t-shirt on the back of the target, or by the first or second layer of fleece. So it looks like the slinger ammunition, although it might be a cowboy's dream, doesn't really live up to the hype. And just like a lot of this gimmick type of ammunition, it does not perform as well as conventional ammo, such as slugs or buckshot. So don't try this at home on what you call a professional. Please tune in for part two when we'll test fire the ripper ammunition. And thanks for watching.